Remember John Franklin III? This dude was one of the main characters of Last Chance U when it premiered in 2016, showcasing East Mississippi Community College. We watched him battle for QB1 during the pilot season of the show. And even though Netflix moved on to other player storylines after two seasons, John Franklin's story was just getting started. I'm Riley Wynn with Jukes, and I gotta know. Whatever happened to Last Chance U's John Franklin III? Jave 3 played quarterback at South Plantation High School in Fort Lauderdale. The 6'1", 170-pounder was pretty good while he was in high school. He was a top 30 dual threat QB in his 2013 class and was gaining a ton of notoriety. He had offers from Tennessee, Air Force, Wisconsin, and not too far from home, Florida State. John Franklin ended up committing to the Seminoles in 2013. He was a bit undersized and mostly played scout QB because Jameis Winston was Florida State's starter at the time and eventually led them to a national championship. Due to the limited touches at FSU, JF3 took a chance on Community College Powerhouse, East Mississippi Community College in 2015. And that's where many of us saw the crazy quick QB for the first time. John Franklin took advantage of his opportunity at EMCC and shined for the cameras in season one. The team was bouncing between two QBs, but JF3 was still able to throw for over 700 yards and seven touchdowns. Of course, being the dual threat he is, he ran for another 450 yards and nine tutties. Dude was a Juco All-American and definitely had the abilities to make it back to the D1 life. After his season with EMCC, he signed with Auburn. When he moved up to the SEC, he didn't get many touches at quarterback, but he did get some. John Franklin threw for 200 yards and a tutty, as well as rushed for another 430 yards and three touchdowns. He still wanted more playing time, so John Franklin made another move to FAU to play for Lane Kiffin. Not only did he switch schools, he switched positions. To get more playing time and showcase his skill set, JF3 moved to wide receiver. He continued to make the most of his opportunities. John Franklin rushed for over 200 yards, got the ball for almost 100 yards and logged three tutties, and Kiffin even used Franklin's arm for trick plays as well. So it's his senior year of college and he's been on the move trying to get his shot. And thankfully, his football journey wasn't done there. You didn't see John Franklin's name in the NFL draft, but just like his college career, he took his own path to the NFL. Before the 2018 season, he was invited to the Chicago Bears rookie minicamp. They signed him as a defensive back, but just a few months later, he was waived by the team. He bounced around on practice squads around the league and ended up trying out for Tampa Bay's practice squad and ultimately made the roster. John Franklin even got to come onto the field for two plays as Wildcat QB for the Bucks and has 11 yards rushing in the National Football League. That's more than 99.99% of people, so props to him for grinding to get where he got. However, during the 2021 COVID-ridden season, John Franklin, Antonio Brown, and Mike Edwards were suspended by the NFL for fake vaccine cards. And it looks like this was the end of his NFL dreams. But that doesn't mean John Franklin was done playing football. Shortly after his departure from the NFL, JF3 was drafted by the Tampa Bay Bandits in the USFL. In his first season in the new football league ran by Fox Sports, Franklin had some okay numbers with 170 yards receiving and three tutties. And JF3 isn't the only last chance you star in the USFL. His old buddy DeAndre Johnson is also in the league. John Franklin has had a long football path to get where he's at. And it's pretty impressive how he's been able to find a way to shine in his own right. Hell, he's even got a Super Bowl ring. So the question I have, is John Franklin the most successful last chance you story we've seen to date? What are some other players who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Riley Wynn with Jukes. See you on the next one.